Well, good morning, everybody. This is L.A., and this is uh, today's short take. If you come to the site uh, as a member, of course, you know, there's a shared watch list that you can come into. Uh, this one I'm sharing is the major subsectors. And this week we're highlighting some of these subsectors. It wouldn't be complete to talk about, you know, the strongest ones if we didn't talk about biotech. So if we pop in here to the biotech sector, you know, there's multiple ways to look at this, multiple ETFs for it. BBH is one of them. This is one of the older ones that's been out there. You know, if we pull over a weekly chart, you can see it made a nice big top, comes down, right? Kind of rolling back over now. You know, but it's basically in this range up here and holding. And so far, uh, that is the story with this index. I mean, if you if you look at it all the way up, you have these ranges that have taken place all the way up, right? One after another. This is no different than the ones before holding up here at the top of the range. Of course, that's just one way to look at it. We could also look at it through the lens of some of the other ETFs. For example, if we come to the IBB, which is the NASDAQ Biotech Index or ETF, here the story looks a little bit different, a little bit stronger. Now, the thing that I look at in a chart like this, you know, from a neoclassical perspective, is you have a big breakdown bar here, you're struggling to get back over it, right? You keep testing, testing. What you're essentially doing is you're eating up that supply. In other words, anyone that had bought over here or had bought in this area, right, it's kind of underwater. They're the ones that are selling. And then anyone who wants to short sell it, this is an ideal spot to be doing that because that's the breakdown bar. That's where the volume expanded. People got trapped. Now, I can't say that there's a lot of traders in it at these price points because if you look at the volumes at those price points, you really didn't have that much. What really is happening here is the general market is a little bit weak and this is an ideal place to short what has been a very strong sector. If you look at it again, just as we looked at the um, uh, BBH, you know, the components of this sector are different. It's doing a consolidation just like the uh, BBH and also has done that consolidation run on the way up. Now, if you just remember back to the chart we just showed and looked at this one, well, this one's a little bit stronger, right? And, and what I mean by that is that the, the angle of ascent and the consolidation moves, uh, you've had very powerful moves outside of them. The thing I would note here and uh, is something to take note of in general on biotech is when it spills, it spills hard, it spills fast, and it spills heavy. And so if you're in this and this thing begins to spill, they will dump. That's just what they do. So that's uh, two biotech ETFs. There's uh, you know two or three other ones. The difference being what's in them. I don't know that one is better than the other. Uh, you can go a little bit more conservative, have Amgen as a larger weighting, for example, and uh, be a little bit more conservative. That's more like the BBH. Or you can go with the, uh, the ones that are really, you know, kicking rear, so to speak, and, uh, you know, stand out like the NASDAQ Biotech, the IBB. That is today's short take. Tomorrow we'll look at another one.